Welcome to the No Crypto Show for a complete noob tutorial. So go from noob to know-it-all in 10 minutes in this tutorial for setting up a masternode on DigitalOcean using PuTTY. That means you're going to have Windows, PuTTY, and DigitalOcean running together. So if you don't have a DigitalOcean account, you can go ahead and check the description below. I'll have a link there for DigitalOcean and some affiliate links, which will get you a $100 credit. Go ahead and pause the video if you don't have that yet. If you have a DigitalOcean account already, but just haven't set up because you can't figure it out, well, here we go. Once you've got your account, go ahead and open up your web browser. We want to do this for the right way. So let's download and install PuTTY and check out PuTTY. There's a couple of links here. There's one you don't want to take. You want to take the link. That's the one that ends in C-H-I-R-K. Don't take this other one here. Take the next one down. That's if you're on Google. Download the latest version. Right now it's 7.0. Now, if you're new to this, you may not know what operating system you're running. Well, we're going to get past that too. You can read the fact or you can do it the easy way, which is just go back into your start bar. And check this out. We're going to go ahead and type about. It's going to tell us which version we need to download. So type about and then click about PC. Now check this out, right under device specifications, there it is, system type, 64-bit operating system. If yours says 32, choose 32. Let's go ahead and close this. I'm downloading the PuTTY 64-bit. Now I've already installed PuTTY, so I'm not going to do a full install. I want you to go ahead and just go through the whole complete default install, and then we'll go ahead and get started setting up our private keys, which are like a strong secure password for them to communicate together so you can set up your master node so in your start bar once you're installed go ahead and type putty gen p-u-t-t-y-g-e-n click this other application it's going to create your ssh keys make sure your key type is rsa 2048 and then click generate once we've done all this we won't have to do this again so wiggle your mouse over here, you know, wiggle this in this box and it's going to generate, as it says, some randomness by moving around the mouse. And it's going to come up with this mathematical calculation based upon that randomness. And this huge number is going to appear. Check this out. Look at how big this number is. It's giant. But I'm going to use a key passphrase. So I'm going to lock this number also. So go ahead and I'm going to type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Use a, a passphrase that you'll remember. Don't click generate again. Now click save private key. Don't click public. Save private key. No crypto show. Save this in a location you will remember. So you have a passphrase you're going to remember and save your location. So you want, you want to remember that. Now, here's where your, your public key is. We're going to copy uh, from this area. Look at how long this is. This is a huge number. So you don't want to try to write this down. You want to just copy and paste. So I'll just show you. We'll just very simply copy. We'll come back and copy this again. But look at this big number. So we're going to give this big number to DigitalOcean, and you're going to use this file that we've just created so they can connect to one another and confirm that you're the right person connecting to it. If they don't have this number, they can't connect to your virtual private server. It's much better than a password. So go to DigitalOcean.com, www.DigitalOcean.com, then log in. And now we'll get started setting this up. You probably won't have any projects. You'll click create new project and then name your project whatever you want no crypto show is what i'm going to call this one and then under description i'm just i'll say video tutorials t-u-t or i can spell l-s all right now you're going to select a purpose i don't care what you select they don't really care either i don't know why they do this but i'm going to choose other now let's say for Fun. All right, so video tutorials for fun. Create project. Skip this section for now. I don't care about that. Now it's going to allow us to set up our virtual private server. Just cr create droplet. Just click that. Now we can choose our operating system. They call it image, distributions, or otherwise. We will use Ubuntu 1804. You might choose a different one depending upon the blockchain. We're also going to choose the size of our droplet as 1 gigabyte, 25 gigabytes, and then 1,000 gigabytes for transfer. I don't do backups either. I can do a manual backup if I want to. And then we're going to choose our data center region. Just choose somebody close to you. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to choose the default here. 
Now you'll have the opportunity to select additional options. I choose none of those. You could choose IPv6, but we're talking about a little bit more advanced stuff here going on. You also won't have any keys like I do. So you're going to say add or, or new key. Let's go back to our putty and check out that big long number again. We're going to select that whole number, but we want to confirm we've got the whole number in there. See, I didn't. I'm going to start at the top and then scroll down. Right click copy. All right. Now I'm going to paste this key in here. Let's can we'll just be consistent. No crypto show. So now if we ever have to create a new droplet, we can use the same private key. I don't suggest that, but you can. Now down into the bottom here, you're going to choose a host name. Forget it. I just used the default. It doesn't really matter. Who cares what I'm calling it? You can call yours whatever you want. I always leave mine as a default. If this is your first master node, you're always running one. Just leave it alone. Who cares? And then we will choose just one droplet. We will click create. Whoops, I didn't click it here. Click create. Now you'll see our tab has no crypto show. That's our project. Our droplet, which is your VPS, is the Ubuntu S1V CPU. Yours will be whatever you choose. But as the process indicator changes, it's going to change, give us more options, but it's going to show us our IP address. So that's the address of our virtual private server we're going to connect to with PuTTY. And now it has those keys because we assign those keys to it. So let's go ahead and go back to PuTTY in our start bar and then P-U-T-T-Y, not P-U-T-T-Y-G-E-N, but P-U-T-T-Y. So there we are. We're going to configure our PuTTY session. So we want our tool here to connect to our virtual private server. So this is where we're going to paste that IP address that we just received so they can talk to one another. So we have an IP address, we have our SSH keys, and then we have our passphrase. So we, I know I'm at the right project. I know I've got the right VPS. Now I'm going to make sure that I'm going to copy. So when, on this 1386831.23, if I mouse over it, you'll see it'll highlight and it will allow me to copy it. So click copy. I'm going to go back to PuTTY to where our session is, and I'm going to enter that IP address. So let's go ahead and paste. You see also my port is 22. That is correct for right now. We may change that later. But right now it's 22. We want to make sure our SSH is selected. Now let's be consistent. Let's name this session No Crypto Show. Call yours whatever you want to call it. Click Save. We'll do this a couple of times so we don't lose anything, so we don't have to duplicate any work. Under connection, we want to tell it who we are when we're connecting. So it thinks that we're, well, it already gave us a name. And that name is root. And so we want to type that name in there. That means we're the big boss of that VPS. So root is who we are. So type that in there. Now we want to use those special keys that we created with the putty gen. So now go down and under auth, so authorization under SSH. Click that, and we've got a little browse to. We're going to click the button to browse. It should open up right away. We remembered where we put it. We're going to open up our No Crypto Show. That's what we called this. Open. But check it out. We Let's go back up and save this again really quick. Again, I don't want to duplicate this work. So save. Now that we're going, now we're going to go ahead and connect. So click open. Now, once we open this, it's going to give us a warning because we've never connected before. Check it out. There it is. Security alert. Are you sure you're connecting to the right location? Well, of course we know we are. We already put the information in. So don't worry about it. Go ahead and click yes. And look at that. It just allowed us to connect, but it's asking for that passphrase. That was that passphrase we created when we created our key. So go ahead and type that in. So I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And once I enter that in here right now, one, two, three, there we go. It's going to go ahead and drop down. We are now totally connected to our virtual private server through this terminal setting here. Now let's go ahead and exit and then we'll come back in the next video and we'll set it up. So type in exit and then hit enter and this window will close. And that's all you need to do to set up your putty with SSH keys to connect to DigitalOcean. If you've got any questions, you may reach out to me at www.nocrypto.show. We also have a podcast there, not just the video tutorials, 
You obviously may leave me questions in, in the notes here below, either on the website or otherwise. And this is where we go from noob to nerd in 10 minutes or less. Please like and subscribe. I'll look forward to your questions and I'll talk to you next time.